need to find out. I am a genius. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Right. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. To our winner, Julia Renee. Hello, my loves. Before we get started on this video, I just want you to know that this is my personal full day of eating, and it's purely just supposed to be used for inspiration. I remember <laughs> when I first started my journey, I would watch people's full day of eating and I would eat exactly what they ate so that I could achieve a similar goal, and that's just not how it works. Sorry, the dogs are barking in the back. But yeah because all of us are different, all of us have different health needs, we have different body composition, and so I just want this to be purely for inspiration to give you a little bit of ideas of your meat plan. So, let's get into the video. Good morning, Buff Babe and Bros, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Julia Renee, and I'm an IFBB Wellness Pro, and today we are going to be doing a full day of eating. I'm going to show you guys some quick and easy meals to make, things that I have been really enjoying, and we're going to start with breakfast. Okay, so we're going to make some protein pancakes. So you can buy the protein pancake mix, or if you don't have that, this is a good option to do so that you can make it on your own. So we're gonna do it with protein powder, some oats, banana, and two eggs. They're so thin, make sure that you wash them more carefully than I did. You are a disappointment. But these look good. Look how pretty these are. And then I accidentally burnt those. Okay, I like to put the Walden Farms maple syrup on top. Zero calories. Look how many pancakes it made though. Like, for real. Whoop. strawberries on it to try and make it look a little bit prettier and I think it'll work. Mm, they're good. I really like putting oats in things because you can always like taste it. So they're very like banana-y and you can taste like the oats in it. Oof, and they're so good. I also use the first form formula one cinnamon toast crunch protein powder so it added like that extra flavor to it if you don't want to add that extra flavor just use like a plain vanilla but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll catch you at my next meal wait let's try the burnt ones they still taste good okay so I haven't been the best about remembering to do my good poo poo juice in the morning so we have first form reds first form greens, first form glutamine, and first form fiber. I put all of this in this little glass. I'm supposed to be doing it every morning. This is the first week that I've been consistent every single day, and I am glad because it's you notice it so much when you don't take these things because then my digestion just goes back to being terrible like it usually was. So, okay, first we're going to do Two scoops of the first form reds. Oh my god. 
goodness, look at that. Well, let's do another one. This is, has a lot of antioxidants. And moving on to the fiber, this helps you stay, I actually need some more, I'm running out. This helps you stay regular every day. Make sure you have regular bowel movements if you get my drift. Then we have the glutamine. This doesn't necessarily help with digestion like this; these other three do, but this helps preserve muscle. So I always put two scoops in with it because I'm like, why, why not just get it all in one? And then lastly, we have the greens. Obviously, you're going to get basically all the serving of greens that you need for the day in two of these scoops. Plus, it helps a lot with bloat and regulating your digestion. I'm telling you, people who have started using this notice a huge difference in such short time. He mix it all together. There's gonna be a link in the description if you guys wanna get free shipping on any of the First Form products, but if you struggle with digestion and having regular bowel movements and bloat regularly, this is for you. Salute. Okay guys, so I've been working for a couple of hours and now it's lunch time. So, I haven't been too hungry around this time. Usually breakfast, eh, I'm pretty full. So I've been doing kind of like snack bowls. I like to call them adult lunchables because I just, I love snacks. So I'm like, okay, well how can I make this something that's actually gonna be healthy for me, get my protein in, and makes, makes me still feel like I'm snacking. So, I'm excited to show you. Okay, so, I bought these containers on Amazon for this specifically, and they're so cute. So this is what they look like. They have like three compartments, and it's a cute little pink lid, and it's glass. So, it comes in a pack of nine, and it's actually super cheap. Nine of these, so they have three of them that have the three compartment. Uh, three that have no compartments and then three that have only two compartments. So we're gonna use the three compartment ones Okay, so for the containers I'm gonna make three at one time so that now I'll just have them prep for the rest of the week but for my protein source, I'm gonna use the First form protein sticks. There's 20 grams of protein in this which is usually about how much I try to get per meal and then They're so perfect and they taste really good. This is my favorite flavor and then we're also gonna use the light Baby Bell cheese. I've been easy, eating these as snacks and I really love them. Less calories than the original one. And then we're gonna do some vegetables and some fruits. It brings me back to like my childhood for like Lunchables, but a high protein, low calorie, healthy one. So we got a little bit of protein, 20 grams of protein. We have a little bit of fat from the cheese. And then this is my homemade um, ranch dressing that I use for my little baby peppers. I love these baby peppers because you could just so easy. And then fill it with grapes and you could just do this with a bunch of different things so I'm gonna snack on this while we do some work okay we are moving on to our pre-workout meal but first my cousin is here and I have to show you her hi cousin oh you're so pretty yes you are this is my cousin well vision's cousin this is my niece, technically. <laughs> so, her name is Ginger, and she's four months old. She will, okay, bye. It's just you now. So what's funny is that when we bought Vision, we thought he was gonna look like her, but it turns out he's 75% lab, 25% poodle. So that's why he looks like this, but it's okay, because I wouldn't have him any other way, right? 
Okay guys, typically for my pre-workout meal, I like to have one of my mega fit meals because then I can eat it like while I'm getting ready to go to the gym so that I have plenty of time for it to digest. So I wanted something that had a good amount of carbs so I have energy for when I go lift. And this has been one of my favorites lately. It's so simple. It's a spicy ground chicken and it has 46 grams of carbs, 390 calories, and it comes with like a little sauce. That's one of the things that I love about Mega Fit Meals is that a lot of their things come with like a special sauce for you to put on it and this one is spicy. I don't know what's in it, but it's turkey and rice and white rice I love to have from like my pre-workout carbs. So we're gonna heat this up, it's super simple. Um, there's also a link in the description for you guys if you want to save on your first order. Now we're gonna put the sauce. I love me a sauce. Especially when I don't have to do it myself. Damn, I put it in for a long time. It is hot and it has vegetables in it and the turkey is already seasoned for you. Boom! Yeah, it's like. Mm. What is in that sauce? I need to find out. Later that same evening. Okay, we are back home from our workout. Gingy, it's okay. So, we're gonna have a post-workout shake. We are gonna do one scoop of the First Form Formula One. This one, I'm pretty sure is the post-workout shake. Usually it says it on here. Yeah, this one's the post-workout one. It has a little bit lower calories than their level one, which is like a more of a meal replacement. So since I'm adding stuff in it, that's why I'm using this one. We're gonna use some frozen bananas. It acts as like ice, but I'll probably add ice in it also. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt, one serving literally has 17 grams of protein and it's so low calorie and I love the way it tastes. We're gonna use some powdered peanut butter to make almost like a, it's gonna be like a banana chocolate peanut butter, like a chunky monkey, whatever you wanna call it. Oats. And then we'll probably throw in like a splash of either cashew milk or almond milk and then some ice just until it's the perfect consistency. consistency look at that look at that that's why you don't put too much milk in you kind of just do like a little bit and then you spin it and then you put some more in so that it's nice and mm. uh, for me if it's too watery I drink it in like a second it's time for dinner we are going to make a protein mac and cheese from Banza Bananza Bamza. It's made of chickpeas, so it has more protein in it.
is so dark in here. Ooh, Ooh that little sound it makes with the I am a genius. This has to be the best low calorie, high protein version of this that I've ever made. Holy macaroni. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Oh my god. Guys. Putting the beef in it is definitely just optional, but I needed to get a little bit more protein in, so I added the 90-10 beef. Oh, and it's just so freaking good. Y'all have to try this. You have to try everything, but this especially. Mm, mm, mm. Zach was watching me make it, and he was like, what you cooking? I was like, mac and cheese. He was like, for me? And I was like, no. Well, I'm gonna finish eating my dinner. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. And as always, I love you all so much and you are more powerful 